just gonna go ahead and test my widget real quick. There we go. And What's your stream name? Uh, does it say you're streaming? Oh, uh, never mind. Um,
follow them on Yeah.
It's me. You're welcome. But you also have another viewer. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's only the third time I've run off, run off the clip in the past 20 minutes. Not a liar. Oh, that's a good one. Um, wary of right. I think one of the best ones I ever saw was there was a a corpse hanging over the side of a balcony, and uh, someone put a notice down that said "finger ahead." symbol down I'll come help you no sense in doing it alone all right you're standing on where it should be uh, I'm oh no, that's right you only had one thing left oh man you died oh I still have one on my car okay keep is humanity. Your souls can be replaced. Humanity is a pain in the butt to get. As far as I know, you can't buy it. Now people will jump in and out. There's people that just stop, that just uh don't go to the left. Okay, avoid it as best you can, but don't walk on the edge. You're flirting with death.
No, 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 stop, 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 stop. The way that they work is they'll start walking when they see you. If they start running, that means they're coming to you. So you only want one to run at a time. Just like that. If you tap B, you'll you'll do a jump back. If you do a light attack directly after it, you don't have to aim, you just tap B. What you'll do is you'll move out of their range if you do that. Alright, so let me go grab this guy. I know. Ow. Regardless of where you are. Yeah, it's, but I have my shield up. It hurt. It's an okay, so the jump up move is an automatic target you and will hit. So you have to wait right before they're about to hit and then jump back. And then you can then you're free to attack for a couple seconds. If they do the right arm the, on your right side, if they swing with that arm, they're going and they pull it back, they're going to use the extension where they have crystals on their arm. If they swing with the other arm, you have to give it a second because sometimes they'll swing with one arm than the other. You just have to be wary of it. Alright, so I'm going to help you kill something and it's going to be a pain in the ass, but... No, we didn't kill the... Not this one. Uh, flask yourself. There you go. Alright, now you follow me and try to stay as close to the wall as physically possible because to the right is a giant bowl that you'll fall into your death. Alright, come on, let me up. There we go. This ladder right here leads to the next area, the one that is a pain they have to get back to if you die, so don't go that way. Now remember, this is just a, gi a giant bowl, so be careful. Don't get too close to me whenever we see him, because he's not weak. He's stronger than the other ones. Alright, so stay right about there. Give me a second, I'm going to come around the corner and I'm going to pull him to me. This area has got more grounding. The water does slow you down, though. It is a golden crystal, and he's got a very special purpose. Come talk to this NPC. This is the first step to getting to the DLC area.
But she sells you a very, very good spell called Light. It'll put an orb above your head so you can see in areas. There's a certain areas in the game that are later on where it's pitch black and it's you can literally almost touch the darkness. It's so thick. Like, no matter what you do, you can't see. You can't see further than, like, a foot ahead of you. I can't. I don't have any more on me. In fact, uh, head back to your bonfire. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and head back, and you can resummon me. But make sure you go back to your bonfire to reload the crystal, guys. How you summon her back? Do I need to touch her right now? Mm-mm. Head back to the bonfire. So you can reload the, the crystal guys. Are we just gonna like spam kill them? For the most part, yeah. I have to help you get the dex weapon and I have to get help you get the souls in order to upgrade it especially your gear because your gear is starter gear that's why you're taking so much damage on per hit don't don't stop until you get back to the bonfire because you don't want to be invaded is your last humanity is the only one you have on you. Yeah, uh, so when you're in Dark Souls, try not to look try not to look away while you're moving. Bad things happen to those who don't look at their screen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, you, that's a lesson you've had to learn twice now. I this is one of the worst places to fall off at too, which sucks. So, the best chess beat 
pit piece for you is going to be the leather armor. You're wearing the leather armor? Yeah. Wearing black leather armor. Is it just, is it black leather armor or leather armor? Black leather armor. Uh, let me see the stats. <laughs> that wouldn't help. Let's see. Uh, do you have any? Do you have any, uh, hollow soldier armor? It's the, like, it looks like a half of a chest piece on the top. Hello, soldier armor. Yeah, equip that. <laughs> it's weight. Right now we need to figure out if you can wear a full set of armor without being overweight, then we can go from there. Um, head piece, the best one. Is going to be... I have... Uh, do you have Hollow Soldier Helms? I have a Boulder Helm. Boulder Helm. 4.2614. Boulder Helm. Go ahead and wear the Boulder Helm. Um, uh, Glove-wise... Just, uh... Stick with, uh, do you have brigand gauntlets? No, I have my, my, uh, right, and what kind of pants do you have? Night leggings? Uh, try night leggings real quick. All right, back out of the menu, and I want you to roll. Just roll. Uh, it's no, that's that's a good roll. That's it's kind of slow, but it's not too slow. That's super slow compared to what I normally. No, your fat your fat roll will look like your fat roll will look like. Uh, let me see if I can. This is your fat roll. See, see how slow it is. You want you want a roll speed that's like this. The one that you've been using is super fast. The problem with it is that you're wearing such low armor that if you take a hit at all, you're dead. So, um, so at minimum, that roll that you have now is the worst one you want. That any any slower than the one that you're using right now is bad. To give you like an idea of what you want, what you're looking for. <clears throat> because there's two things in this game that you need. Poise and armor. Poise will actually, what poise does is if someone swings at you, you know how like you'll be mid attack and then they hit you and you stop. Yeah, that's, that's poise. My symbol's right there. But you're still hollowed. <sighs> you can increase your endurance to increase your weight capacity.
There we go. I put my symbol down. It's uh, to the right up the cliff side slightly. Right about there. The good thing about these crystal guys is that they're easy to farm because they're slow. They give plenty of souls. The problem with them is that they hit kind of hard. But the good news is that they're actually fairly good at dropping magic shards. Chunks, I mean. Uh, blue chunks or blue shards. They, those are what increase your mat, uh, the level of magical weapons. Which I don't think you'll really use. Me and you will probably only be using the healing spell and the light spell. Everything else can be lowered, basically. We want to focus on endurance. Just like give you an idea of what their moves are. So I usually pull this guy over here first since he's closer. Oh no, you see how this one's running? That means he's coming for us. The other one's walking this direction. That's the difference in poise. Notice how when he hit me, I just kind of flinched so slightly and I didn't do anything else. Normally, hey, it's good Reaver, what's up? Welcome to my stream. Uh, Alu here is a new uh, a new streamer. She just started. Um, it's Alu's Den. A L U S D E N. Go if you can, please give her a follow. She, you know, she's new, she needs some of the follows and stuff, so if you're willing to do that, that would be awesome. If not, you know, it's your preference. I'm not going to make you do nothing. Hope you're having a good night. Alright, so how many souls do you have right now? Good, good. Alright, um... Let me see if I have a good weapon for you real quick. Don't look. Oh, you make me so nervous going over those cliff ledges. My god, you just... Mm. Let's see if I have anything that's good. I love hey, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I'm running her through first time, and it's... Uh, it's it's not it's not hard. She's doing a lot better than most new people, but you know it's still there's still a learning curve to Dark Souls for everybody. There there always is. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for following. 
Let's see, strength based A, C, C, B. Ooh, there we go. B. Oh, you already have a scimitar. Um, yeah. I don't have. I mean, there is a parry dagger. Uh, this dagger is useful after parrying and is normally equipped with the left hand, a favorite of the Knights of Karam, who are famous for fighting without a shield. Hmm. Yeah, shield gives you security, so I wouldn't suggest that one. Uh, I off the top of my head, I don't know that many dex weapons because I never really went dex on this game. I went winged spear for the longest time. That's what I did. Do you have the winged spear? No. Oh, uh, let me see if I can drop mine because I don't. I don't need mine. I might not be able to drop it. Well, it depends on if it's a special weapon. There you go. We can get spear right here for you. <laughs> You're in the menu still. Back out of the menu to pick it up. There you go. Now you can guard and snappy snappy. Is it, uh, wait, 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 uh, oh man, I guess this gives me an opportunity to look through my weapons. I've been trying to run a different weapon besides this one. The Great Club has a decent chunk in its B rating, but it's slow and I need to upgrade it. Um, the Butcher Knife is by far my fastest weapon right now. 135, 108. Still not cutting it. Hmm. Yeah, it's still, it's still better than the rest of my stuff. That was a plus five, though. I really don't want to use the Great Cloak, because it's just so damn slow. Not too bad. <sighs> um, Kind of fast. Yeah, the Zweihander, I, I I just don't like how slow it is. Like I invested some time in it, and it's just it the weight of it is just really off putting for me. Um The weapon I really do enjoy. I actually looked up the stats for the Great Axe. The Great Axe is actually surprisingly stupid good. Um, a lot of people don't go for it because it's such a slow attack speed and and it's a really uh, heavy, heavy weapon. 
However, the weapon itself is actually pretty damn good when it scales. I think it's uh, lightning. I think it has the best lightning raw damage. Um, it goes like it's like seven. It's like seven hundred base. <laughs> But a lot of people use the Great Club, and a lot of people use the Spy Hander, and I, I just don't want to use them. Um, with the axe, it's it's a lot, it's very strong, and people think, oh yeah, well, it's not a very common weapon that you'll go against. Um, if you run a common weapon, a lot of people that invade will will just you know know exactly what m your move set is. I figure if I'm running a different weapon, maybe I'll have a good good chance. Yeah, yeah, like like, I said, like you know, like you said, doesn't have good range. However, you know, because it's not a commonly used item, it's yeah, actually my favorite. Dexterity. I don't have enough strength to use it yet. Oh, that's okay. Do um, you want me to go back and you can go back to the bonfire real quick and rerun? Uh, yeah. I mean, personally, I would say, I would say, kill the guys in the cathedral where the Black Knight was. Oh, those guys? Yeah, but you have to have a good weapon to clear them out quickly. Like, I can make stupid can, souls by killing them, I but I can't help you. Good. After we kill the gargoyles, I can't jump in your game anymore, so I can't help you with them. That's the problem. I, I can kill them pretty easily. Yeah, that's my favorite way to get it. <laughs> <laughs> get back there, uh, the best way, the easiest way to get back to it, uh, would be through the grass guys. You'd have to go up the wall behind you and go up, and then go to where that giant statue thing is. Uh, if you don't want, if you don't want to, and you don't mind it, you can go back through the area where the dragon was at. Oh. Whoa, no, no, no. Yeah, I know, but what? You can... The... The Demon Great X is good, but it's, uh, it's... Damage range for future building is not all that great. That's why I'm not going for that one. Oh, hey, you got people in your stream, babe. Yeah, those are probably bots. Oh, well. We'll boost your view count just slightly. Um, okay, so the tunnel behind you. The, you know where, where where Havel was, right? Remember where Havel was? Oh. I'll show you. Give me a second. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's two ways to get back to that area. The first way is is going up, following the trail all the way up to where the grass guys are. The other way is through that that door up there. You'd have to go up and it would put you right below where the tourist demon was that you fought with us the first boss. That's where it will put you. That door that I was at? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, the um I was looking at a few weapons, because it's predominantly a strength build for this run. But I want something that's kind of like mid-max, something that can do a lot of damage if I hit, but I also don't want something that's going to be too slow. Because range is good and all, but I mean, if you don't do a lot of damage with your range, it's kind of pointless. Like, I can't stand the halberd because it has that stagger. And I can't send the butcher knife in one because the butcher's knife has that stagger when you swing with it. You know, that leaves you open, so. And I like to be able to one shot things.
Oh, the witch knife only staggers if you miss? I didn't know that. I think in three it actually doesn't, it's like really light so it doesn't stagger you at all. I haven't played two yet, much. I'm hoping to play with Alu if it, if it, if the cards come right. She only has the first game right now. Uh, let's see, what would it be like if I... Get scimitar, rapier, a stock, readout, club. Uh, what was I wanting to look into? Raise, what was it? The Claymore? I already have the Claymore. Yeah, I already have the Claymore mixed out. Sword of Straight Sword might not be that bad. But it's Twinkling Tie Knight, and I don't use that. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do that. You get another ember. Oh, crap. I'll be seeing you there. Be careful. Oh, armor. That's what I'm working on. That's right. Reinforce armor. Item, tie knight, let's do four. Reinforce armor. Uh-oh, I can't do that. Hmm, four shards, two hundred feet. And why not? It'll just make me better defensively until I can get the weight up. Yeah, yours is dead. You're fine. I just want to see you go hollow. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right, they brought stances into that one. I forgot about that. I, I played uh, the Scholar of the First Sin a little bit a while back offline without upload or without any kind of uh, patching. And I fucking hated it because the weapons were just breaking so damn fast. I could just walk out, kill a couple guys, and then my weapon would break. And apparently that was some kind of bug at the beginning of the game, but since I wasn't playing it online, I was playing it on a 360, it, uh, it didn't fare well for me. <laughs> I hate how that move hits anyway. I could go to Blight Town and do some stuff. I really don't like Blight Town, though. That stupid elevator kills me every stinking time. Hey, someone ring the bell. Congratulations to that person. Stabby. Big stab, stab. Oh, you're not. I don't think you're close enough to the bell. I'm in the courtyard. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you wanna, you wanna, wanna stand there? Yeah. And that, here. <laughs> See, what was my favorite weapons? I think in 3, my favorite weapons was the Demon Great Sword. The one you get from the Ash, uh, the final DLC. Um, Midir's, uh, Samurai Sword. That one was really fun. And the Ice Sickle weapon from the boss from, uh, the Ice Area was really, really cool. Yeah, it was it was bad. I'll never forget looking at that little looking at that little uh, column in the center, 
and trying to shimmy my way down and fall down those pillars um, in the first town. I remember I got like halfway down and then I slipped and fell and somehow didn't die. And I started looking around and I'm like, what the, where the hell am I? And it was not fun. I immediately died down there and lost all my stuff from, I think it was like zombies or something. I, there's like a horde of guys down there, but I didn't even get a good look at them. They just, they off me so fast. I really didn't get a good look at what they were. Um, and then later on, I was in the catacombs with all the rats, and I was like, oh, and then I got into, I was trying to find sanctuary, and I finally thought I found a place, and before I knew it, I was fighting the rat, the rat boss, and I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> this game has no chill. It was, it was hard. I, I think that the game was, was fun. I never beat it. I didn't get that far in it. But I'll have to say, hands down, the the worst part about it was the fact that NPCs uh, did not respawn um, after so many kills. Ugh, I hate how that hits every time. Sir, and then Katana. Which one was that? Was that in two or three or? Biggins is still up here? Nope, Biggins not up here no more. Okay. <sighs> Wasn't sure if I killed him yet. Holy crap, you scared the hell out of me. Come on up here, fugly. Good. Where do you belong? In the ground. Just chill walking down the stairs and ran right into him. <sighs> oh, I still have the... Oh man, that's not gonna be fun. I, don't, I still have Hellkite in my game. I haven't killed him yet. I mean, I probably should. I just don't want to sink the time into it. Think about it. There might be an area that's better for farming for you. Uh, the ghosts of uh, the, the ghosts of uh, old Inner Londo. If I remember, if I, I think it's old Inner Londo. I think it's it's also called the Sunken City, but I can't remember what the actual name of it is. Um, underneath Firelink Shrine, if uh, the ghosts down there, you can attack them and they won't, uh, they can, they can still attack you, but you can't attack them unless you use the item. Um, however, they will drop the item when you kill them. And there's a corpse down there that has the item for you already. So if you get the item, you can, uh, use it to kill the ghosts. In order to attack ghosts, you need something that's called the transient curse item. The item is on a body down by where the ghosts spawn. If you go down there, grab the item, and then use it, and then go hunt the ghosts, when the ghosts get killed from you killing them, they will drop some, that item sometimes. In other words, as long as you're killing the ghosts, you won't run out of the item you need to attack them. It's very useful. The problem is, is that... You can't venture very far because there's a lot of fall off areas and stuff like that that will kill you. So you basically just have to run down, kill, run down, kill. Hmm. Might as well go up there. Oh, new Londo. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, because, I mean, I honestly hate that area. Not because of the wraiths, but because of the stupid Four Kings boss. That guy pisses me off to no end. He's just such a dick. <laughs> That hurt. That hurt a lot more than it should have. Trade you. Oh man. That Four Kings boss is just. Mm. I'd do my best not to fight that boss at all. I think he's the least fought boss I have in, in my. the amount of times I've played. I, I don't want to kill the uh, Artorias dog, but, you know, or wolf, but I, I probably have to. I hate fighting him. Such a beautiful character. <sighs> Alright, now that those guys are dead... <laughs> He's your speedrun killer. Yeah, I imagine he is. That stupid guy, but He's like the, um... He's like the two kings boss on three. You know, sometimes he's just really good to fight, and he'll be a quick fight, and other times he'll just be this asshole that you just can't kill. Like, the two princes, I've... There's been very few times I've had a hard time with them. Very few times. Really? That didn't aggro him? There we go. There's giving me the skim skims. Come on, bring it! Bring it! Bring it! Bring it! Bring it, buddy. I, I can do this all day. I can do this all day. I'm gonna shimmy. I'm gonna shimmy. Ha ha! Nope. Damn it. I'll think they I'll gladly take it to kill him. No. Oh you respond at the last bomb fire you were at or closest? The last. How did that miss? I don't know how that missed. Hey, Wildcat! Holy shit, dude! It's been a while! How you been? Sorry I haven't streamed much. Life's been quite a bitch recently. Haha! <laughs> X beats... Well... What, paper? Rock? I don't know, what, 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 what would you say you would be? Corpse? Okay, yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, my friend got me back on Dark Souls, and uh, I was just like, oh, well, what am I going to do? And and my girl Ali was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play, and I was like, sweet. It's been really hard for her, though. It's It's... Tough. It's a tough game. It's not. It's not necessarily hard for her. It's just. It's hard for her to adjust to certain things because Dark Souls One has some pretty shoddy mechanics. You know, we all know it's got janky controls. <laughs> I can't tell you the amount of times I actually. The X beats armor. Yeah, yeah. See there. There's the witty remark I was looking for. And surprise! Smacker. God, I love this weapon. I wish it was faster, but other than that, I don't really. Ugh, that reach, though. X beats plates. <laughs> plates beat no more. Hello. Bring it. Will I lose? 
No. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? If you rest at a bonfire, will you lose what? No, if you rest at a bonfire, you won't lose anything. Dragon's dead on your game, remember? So you're good. Yeah, I know, but I've got to get past the fucking Yeah. I'm gonna say I should probably get really good at uh, parrying with this shield. I don't necessarily even need the grass shield. I should probably switch over for a buckler or maybe a heater shield. I mean, I really do need to get better at parrying, though. Oh, look, another rapier that I'm not going to use. Yay. I love the axe in 3, though. It's one of my favorite weapons for 3. It's a little bit faster in 3. Um, you can get it really early game. You, you get into the first area, you go to the side, and there's that guy that, dro that has the axe. If you kill him enough times, you'll get the drop for the axe, and it's super handy. Early game. Does a lot of damage early game. Too slow for late game, though. But early game, it's, it's you know, pretty good. Doo -doo. Um, that's right, I'm just building, building souls right now. I'm trying right now to get a couple more levels in uh, in uh, faith, I think. Faith and uh, uh, sorcery. What's it called? Um, yeah, intelligence. And I think faith. Because what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take the... I'm gonna use the um where is it? I'm gonna use the old steel ivory catalyst, which is based off of uh, intelligence, and then I'm gonna use the uh, Velka's talisman, which is also based off intelligence. Uh, one of them will be used to grant me the ability to use the light spell, and the other one will give me the ability to heal. Um, and that's really all I'm doing at this point. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get that, and as soon as I get that, I'm gonna put more into health and more into endurance. Um, my biggest thing is I need to have a heavy weight limit. I really do because I need better gear, and I'm not gonna be able to wear it if I don't increase my weight limit. So, and it takes like eight thousand souls right now for me to level, almost ten. So, ugh, it's painful. Welcome all to my stream. Uh. Yeah, I really want to go get the scythe for her, for her build. I don't know if I can drop it, though, and it's a bitch to get to. I've never figured out how to, you know, do the hop speed run where you get around the corner and you can get to it. Oh, no, it costs 10,000 for me to level now. Great. Hmm. What could I do? I could go kill Hellkite. I could go kill the Ortorius' wolf. Mm. I could go join the Covenant. The, the Dark Covenant in the forest. Uh, I really don't want to go back down to Blight Town, though. I really don't. I will... Ah! I'll go kill some ghosts. That'll be good. That's what I'll do. That'll be the easiest way for me to get some souls. And I didn't know this before, but do you know the ghost knife, the dagger? It's really good, but you can't drop it for people. Like, it has like 150 base attack. But you can't drop it. I mean, you can drop it, but you can't, you know. <sighs> He's dead. Come on, buddy. You want some? Oh, I mistimed it. Come on. You know you want to... I hate that prolonged waiting. Come on. Come on. Ugh. 
so bad at timing those fairies. I mean, if I'm not concentrating on weight, I could... Buckler. Buckler, 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 buckler. I'm going to shield prey attacks with a larger center protrusion. Shields are always less stable, but letting critical hits after the prey is easier. The shields are recognized for repairing. Stability 40. Block 76% physical damage, or 76 physical damage. Um, 76 physical damage. Hmm. Trickles 131. Does a critical even work? Like, if a critical's for an offhand, does it even work? I, I gotta, I gotta test this. We have never used the parrying dagger ever. Like, in any of the Dark Souls games. Never used it at all. So I don't even know how good this thing's going to be or how bad it's going to be. an idea for a build. Yeah, I was about to say, like, you know, maybe, just maybe, I may have found myself a damn good item for berries. But the buckler shield has a pretty good area for preparing, which is why I like it. But... I mean, parries in this game are indispensable. Once you get good at them, they're fucking amazing. <sighs> Bow before your master. I parried him before he even connected the hit. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Oh, the gap for parries is so big with this item. Oh my god. Come on. Come on, try to swing. Try to swing. You know you're gonna get parried. And you're parried. <laughs> oh, that is just so broken. I love it. Oh, man. Oh, oh man, it's great. Holy shit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is great though. I mean, yeah, I can't block, but I mean, half the time I just roll off the way anyway. Against some guy, then he sprinted back to the bonfire to summon, and I one shot at him with the summons and parried him. Oh man, nice. I failed to parry that guy. Oh well. You can't invade me. I don't have a boss anymore. The gargoyles are dead. Hmm. 
I guess I was too far away to... But that ain't sure. That's a great reward. Uh, I gotta say, though, I love 1 and 3, but I like 1 more than 3. For, for one reason, the poise still matters in 1. When they removed poise from 3, I didn't, I didn't like it. It made me upset. It's just... I, I, I know that people like to wear armor that makes them look good, and I, I, I can respect that, but, you know, the poise was a major function in the game that people used. I let him recover. Let him recover and Black Crystal out because he definitely had enough. Nice, level 70. Is that your main, or is it just an off character? If you can carry ghosts. Forgot that I grabbed the other firekeeper soul. Oh, nine. I don't even, um, this is my first character on Remastered. I don't, I don't have any other ones on Remastered. On the, on the original version, I don't remember if it keeps your save data or not. I think I have like eight or nine on, uh, on the original Dark Souls. And that's not in counting my Xbox ones. I had like three characters on Xbox. See, I think I might like to if I get to play it more, but right now I'm not sure. Okay, um, let's see. Can I one hand the uh, deck or the uh, ghost, violent thrust attacks, one of the curse weapons, inflicts damage to ghosts? Hmm. have is better. So I hand her 154, 130. 154, 82, 22. Yeah, definitely more. I if I can... Can I even upgrade the fairy dagger? Like, what would it even do if I did? Probably nothing. He makes the magic, okay. Uh, what is it? What does it do exactly? Pro slash B nothing. Doesn't do anything. To dump the money into uh, upgrading this Vihander. I'm supposed to. Let's see if this Vihander still. Oops. 
Just slightly better. It's good enough for me. Oh, I need to, uh... Equip... This. I hated this area the first few times I went through it. Not as much as Blight Town, but... Two first torch. And leave it on transients. sure if I can parry these guys. I don't think you can, though. Where the hell do you think you're going? Where's your little underground friend? There he is. Oh, this area always makes me so fucking nervous. Let's see, there's the guy up there that sells stuff. I don't think he sells anything that I'd need.
shit. Nope. 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 Not today, assholes. Sweaty. <sighs> That's two. Like six more to go. more of you. Except for ghosts. Do you have some business here? My name is Ingrid. I'm an old man bound to these parts, but I don't mind a chat. I may even be of some help. Oh, that's right, he sells. Where's this curse? Where's your red robe? Ready? Circle so Unity undo a curse. Oh god, that's a steep price. It's kind of a shitty thing. I forgot that he has such bad stuff. Right. How do I get that item? If I remember right, I can't. Until I drain the area. 
Oh, fuck. That one, too. Oh, I'm not going through this area again. <sighs> nah, I haven't killed him in this playthrough yet. Um, I'm trying to match pace with Alu, so I'm not moving ahead or anything. I'm staying in the same area until we both get there. Because if I start killing everything, I won't be able to bring them over. And if, you know, because Salty Coffee also plays occasionally. Um, let's see. I should have enough to level at least once. Let's see, without a heavy shield blocking me down, I actually might be able to get some good armor in. Let's see. 12 pounds, 20 poise, 37, 39, 45, holy shit. 45, yep. Oh, wow, yes, 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 yes. Um. Okay, Dark Souls broke from it there, but you broke. That's my limit. That's new. Yeah, I always hated the Ring of Favor because it will break randomly. killing him since I only had one flask. Huh? This will take me to fire light. Yeah. Fire, right? Yeah. Because if I remember that old man's actually got a couple tricks up his sleeve.
<clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, I know. I just that uh that having it on is just kind of a having it on's rough because I don't want to break it. You know, I don't want to take it off and break it. Souls. Good. Double check that. Sixty for you, fifty for you, and five hundred for the other one. Go back to the uh, go back to the the prison. Might help out. Easter Hill wasn't bad.
Hmm? Nothing. Just looking at weapons.
Hmm. I might actually run the Great Cloak for a while. Yeah, I might actually run the Great Cloak for a little bit. <laughs> it's got it's got some of the best scaling in the game, I know that much. I just don't like uh how bulky it is, but it's currently lighter than my other stuff, so. Oh, that's why people like it. Because its hitbox is huge. Yeah, these are the weapons I have to use if I don't get the Black Knight Halibur. Um... Well, if you... You need to have better gear and a stronger weapon. Um, but the, the most useful thing right now for you, you need to go to Blight Town, but without your gear being upgraded and possibly having a better weapon or at least an upgraded weapon, you're, you might not be able to get that far there. And I can't help you until you get past those big guys. Sucks. So, um, did you level yourself up? Yeah. So leveling up gear is not going to be that hard once you find the gear you want. Chainmail guy. Will you get your nose add to my food? That's a hell of a lot of people attacking the chainmail guy. 
Oh God, right? Uh, and people are dumb like that. They, they don't think they can. They think they can get a kill on the NPCs. Need
do you want to know the easiest way to kill them before you continue? They have a lot of moves where they'll sit there for a couple seconds. Just, uh... Proning. Just, uh... All you gotta do is sidestep around their shoulder and then attack, and you'll do a backstab. Two of those or three of those, even with a bad weapon, will kill them quickly. Uh, not really. I've been trying to do that. Even when I do it successfully, it doesn't work. Homeward bone, or or go back before you. Yeah, but even if I do, unless I can go talk to that girl again and get the uh, class, I'm gonna help. Killed them again. I killed them and they gave me something called the large club, which apparently has an A in scaling with strength and also has a uh, the ability to poison things, which is amazing. So if I hit anything and it survives for a few hits, it'll take poison damage. Try to upgrade this. Is your weapon upgraded at all? No. How do I upgrade? Uh, you need to have about like eight thousand souls. Um, I don't have anywhere near that. And then you have to go to the blacksmith guy. What he does, he's the reason why everyone loves him is what he does is he'll give you he'll give you a <clears throat> he'll give you the ability to buy shards from him. And you can use those shards to upgrade basic weapons. So basically, you can just spend money to get shards and then use those shards to upgrade your gear. 
as long as it's not like a specialty gear that takes another thing like Twinkling Titanite or something, it'll be fine. I was sitting here looking at it, I was like, I know you have a high dex. I was like, I know you have a high dex, I just don't know why you're not doing a lot of damage. And that's why I realized, I was like, wait a minute, maybe your weapon isn't upgraded. Alright, 20 dexterity should be good enough for any weapon. So now you can build into endurance. And vitality, uh... My vitality is 20. 20 as well. Yeah, mine's not. My vitality is 17. Well, I didn't want you to think I meant 22, and so I said 20 as well. Thank you. 
The purple moss clumps that you got from those bushes can cure that poison.
The club those guys drop is actually not that bad. It has almost the same strength as the big club, but it's not as slow. It's got some good moves. Weapon damage does that one do? Oh, sorry, you busy. Yeah, I got a weapon for you that's better than that. I'm gonna try to upgrade it so that way I can give it to you at a better state than what it was.
yourself. No. Fourteen dex, fourteen strength. What's your strength at currently? Uh, I wouldn't farm those guys if you want to level. Um, if you run around the cathedral. Or you find them enough times you'll have their moves burned in your brain. No, that's not what I did. It's not that I miss it's not that I miscalculated their moves. I wasn't patient enough to wait for my poison to go down.
That's one thing Dark Souls definitely teaches you about is not to be thirsty. If you get overexcited or go too far, you usually end up dead. Yeah, they drop that very commonly. It's rare that they drop their uh, <laughs> weapon. I did it. Yeah, it's I funny. What's more pitiful, the fact that they actually place felt the need to place it there, or the fact that I actually feel a sense of accomplishment with them? Uh. <laughs> time you won't get hit yeah yeah the only one that'll hit you behind them is their uh their yeah their wide swing because it barely comes around their side yeah. even that one though i found if you're just in the right spot then that one will hit you but you've got to be like in the perfect spot Starting to wait on his ass, I'll just off him right here. Well, I mean, I kind of wish that uh, you could go down to the the ghost area. That that dagger is stupid fucking strong. It's, oh, you find it on, well, it, you don't find it on the corpses of the ghosts, but when the ghosts die, occasionally they'll drop it. It's like a 12% drop rate or something like that, but it's really fucking good. Like, it's, um, without any upgrades at all, it's 155 damage base. And if I remember right, it does bleed damage as well. Let me check. 
yeah it does a lot of bleed damage has a high ass damage amount on it and as a added bonus it's actually it's cursed so it can attack ghosts even when you don't have your stuff on so it's really fucking strong I mean, if you could, if it could be cursed and divine, you're fucking set. The reason I say that is because a cursed item can attack ghosts. A divine item can kill uh, skeletons, and they won't come back, no matter even if they're possessed. So, like, if I kill something and then set it a bonfire, they still come back? Or? They will, yeah. But what I'm saying is, like. There's certain, uh, there's certain things in the game where if you, if you kill them, like the skeletons, for example, what they'll end up doing is they'll, they'll die when you hit them, but then they'll get, they'll reappear or they'll recombine themselves and come back. There's a necromancer that brings them back from the dead constantly if uh, until you kill him if you have divine you can kill them permanently and he can't fucking bring them back in other words they will die so if, if for some reason you can take that blade if soul. yeah if you could use that blade and make it a divine weapon and it's cursed that, that would be hilarious i'd have to look to see what it's capable of but <laughs> oh, nice, tiny shirt. I just, one of those guys came up to me, tried to kill me, I offed him. And one of the parry guys came up to me right after that, I parried him and killed him as well. Back to back, like right next to each other. Stab you while I drink you. There's an area under where the dragon was that will give you humanity, but ye, there's a very low chance it'll drop. Huh? You can get humanity by killing the rats underneath where the dragon's at. There's an area down there where they spawn. And there's three of them, but the, the chances of getting them is still trash. Um... Oh, that's right, I gotta upgrade the weapon real quick. Alright, I gotta find out a place where I can meet you so I can try to drop the weapon for you. Because if you get this weapon... Even if you're able to just wield it two-hand, it would be worth it. 
Because it, it's going to do like a stupid amount of damage. Unless you want to try a crack at the ghosts. Uh, a certain NPC that won't pop up until you ring the second bell. Yeah, the, the bells are glorified fucking alarm clocks. Nothing yet. Yeah, you won't wake up or anything. skeletons give you 500 souls, but they're going to be hard for you to kill, and they do a lot of damage. Harder than what? Is where they on? No, you have to go down further in the catacombs. There's a giant catacombs area underneath it. They break when you knock them down, but they'll get back up until their health's empty. If they have glowing white eyes, that means that even if you kill them, they'll get back up. How many souls do you need to level? I think I'm at a point where I have to have five souls. Okay, uh, head to the bonfire real quick. You should have some items that'll help you get to the level you need. The... Go ahead and sit back at the bonfire. And then, after that, uh, go into your items. Uh, uh hit the start button. And then go to just your inventory items. Left, one, one more. And the menu, left, one more. No, oh, there you go. Uh, scroll down. Use all of those. Use item, press down. Alright, then go back into your thing and, and choose the next one. few more.
Okay, don't try to level. That 12 dexterity is good. Okay, yep, you need one more level after that. What does it say? It needs 6,000. All right. All right, so the easiest way to get it is I'm going to show you the the easiest way for the ghost area because they give you 200 souls a piece and if they drop the dagger for you you'll have a dagger which is good to the left. inside through the archway. There's a pot right there in front of you. You need to break that pot. <laughs> and pick the item that he drops up. Alright, put that on your hot bar. Carefully. Very carefully walk across that bridge. Yeah, the, the 
You do not want to do anything with your camera while you're doing going across it. Okay, so you see that second torch right in front of you, the blue torch? When you get to that, use that item. It'll go gray, and once it goes gray, it will stay that way for a while. As soon as it wears off, it will become usable again and not be gray. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. And then you want to walk across the bridge to that area. You're going to see a ghost. And you want to you want to attack it. What it'll do is they'll they'll stretch out their arms and you'll hear a shinking sound. When they do that, don't be in their arm area. They will lock on you and do a shit ton of damage. That's their arm stretch thing I told you about. Oh. Um, can you, uh, would you mind meeting me in the, in that green forest again, past the giant guy in the room, so I can drop you this item? I maxed out its level, so that way once you get it, it's going to be really good. Okay.
All right, I'm waiting for you when you're ready. Just don't reverse hollowing until you get to the um, second bonfire, the one next to the blacksmith dude. I'm just waiting. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same on my stream. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me. I'll be back later on, uh, either tonight or tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody. Or a great morning.